Together NYC is a nonprofit that works to keep low-income families in their homes even if they've fallen into disrepair and it also has taught trade skills to hundreds of people. So joining me now to talk about all the work is Executive Director Kimberly George. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. And this is such sort of an unsung program. I think it's been around for two decades yes. um, and it does great, great work. Yes, thank you. You find people who are, are low-income and they're trying to stay in their homes but really are struggling to afford the repairs or they just can't afford the repairs. Exactly. We provide free home repairs for people that are low income and usually what happens is the home has been in the family for generations mm -hmm. but their incomes haven't been high enough to allow them the resources and they're often, ma often making difficult choices between um, purchasing medications, you know, school supplies, food and paying their mortgage that, you know, the maintenance needs go um, overlooked. Of course, yeah. Now let's talk about what you do, you rebuild homes, you do total rebuilds, you do about more than 50 of those a year. And you also, if someone's in a wheelchair or needs some kind of uh, mobility accommodation, you do that as well. We provide what we call ex accessibility modification. So anything from ramps, lifts, grab bars. Um, it's really important for people that are disabled to mm -hmm. be able to get in and out of their homes. And it's very unsafe for them to be trapped in their homes. And so you do about 20 to 30 of those a year. Yes. And you also look at community centers. So we know that, you know, in a city as dense as New York City, um, our public space and our community space is an extension of our living space. Um, so we help nonprofits and community gardens um, upgrade their facilities as well. So people have to send in an application and you have lots of applications. Yes, we have a long waiting list and, you know, they do have to be eligible for our services, which basically mean they have to be low income. And talk about how you sort through those and decide how long is the waiting list, how many? There's a couple hundred people on our waiting list. Okay. Um, but we prioritize based on need um, and we, you know, go out and do assessments all the time and we go see the homes and we help as many people as we can. So you need donations here, you need volunteers, and you're also teaching people these trade skills, which I think is so fabulous because you're taking people and trying to lift them out of poverty and give them an actual skill that can translate and, into a job. Exactly. So while we're doing all of this work, Work, we're training low-income, unemployed, underemployed New Yorkers to get jobs in construction, jobs that have um, real wage boost opportunities for them that can change future generations. And you graduated 60 this year, but you're going to double that number the, next year? 2018, the program is doubling in size, so we will train 120 people. So if people are watching this and they're saying, I'd like to volunteer my time, what do you have a need for? Um, I mean, we do, we use volunteers on our home rebuilds, our community centers. We also um, need volunteers that have language skills, that can um, speak languages other than English to help us um, with our non-English speaking clients. All right, so let's put up the website. It's rebuildingtogethernyc.org, and you can contact Kimberly or anyone there, yes. and they'll put you to work, right? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, you too.